Hello everyone, I'm Eight Shades of J. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We're out here looking for our friend Natty. In the last episode she sent me a message saying that she wants to meet up with me and talk about what happened at Hogsmeade. Um, so I don't know. We will see if she's trustworthy to tell the truth. I think she might be. We can't hold it a secret forever. And I'm not entirely sure that I can trust Professor Fig. Um, I don't know. I have my doubts. But let's just, you know, let's just head on over there. Explore a little bit. We didn't really get to do much exploring last time because, you know, we ran into Victor and stupid Rannoch. What's this? Can I just... Oh, nope, turn over there. I don't know what the moonstones are for, but I'm going to harvest everything I see. Because there must be a reason to craft it or trade it, I don't know. Anything over here? No. Nothing. What are those things? Shelves? A leech? Ew! That is disgusting. I hate. Oh, look how they stretch it out like that. Oh. I feel like throwing up now. Can she go in the water? Am I walking on water? No, I'm not. Can she swim? I'm just curious. Some games you just automatically drown and... I guess this one's not one of those. Which is good. Dragonfly! Alright. It's kind of a shortcut. Go through here. Level Level one lock. I'm not level one though, so an entirely new area. Where where can I go? Anyone to talk to? It's pretty. What is this? Level lock. Is there anything else? There's something right here. Ooh, scarf. Okay. You're interesting. Oh, you're creepy. You just follow where I'm going? Yep. Almost like the haunted mansion at Disneyland. What's up? What's over here? This broken broom belonged to Celine Wart Wartnobby, and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Oh. But she died. Hmm. I don't know what to do with these just yet. Do I use, um... Oh, don't do that. Do I do this? Oh, that's how you do it! I just saw a dragon and thought fire. Alright, now I know what to do with those.
Alright, I'm totally detouring. I need to meet with Natty. Okay. No more distractions. We're gonna go straight to Natty. If I see things on the way, then I'll... I'll explore, but I'm not gonna detour. What is that? A tombstone? Oh! Okay, nice. Will come in handy if I need a fast travel here. So I don't think we should be totally... Uh, I mean, we're gonna tell Natty the truth, but I don't think we should tell her about our superpowers that we can see things that others can't. I don't think we should go that far just yet, and we don't know her that well. Even though I think she'd be trustworthy to know that too, but... And I think if I do have suspicions that Professor Fig is... has an alternative agenda, then it might be in our best interest to have someone else know the truth, you know? I could be just paranoid. I mean, maybe Professor Fig is a good... Why the music kind of get a little weird? I see some shrooms! huge if you think about it. This is all still Hogwarts grounds. Like, whoa. I don't know why she wants to meet out so far knowing that she could be in danger just being around me. I mean, we're so far away from the school grounds and anyone could help us that uh, if we run into that evil goblin again, or Victor, we're screwed. Would have been nice to see some wildlife or creatures, you know? I don't see anything. Did I get you? Yeah. Sprinting doesn't seem that much faster than... Do we get a broom in this? Or any type type of transportation besides good footing it? Would be nice. Oh, well there's some wildlife, some birds. But I'm talking about like the mystical creatures. Would be nice to see them walking around freely. Like they did like around Hagrid's place. Is there even a Hagrid's hut? Around here? I don't think so. Or maybe this is it. Speaking of the dope. Is there anyone in here? Oh, this is not inhabited. But there are treasures. Oof, that was too bright. Alright. Can I harvest any of these? No? Oh, she's right there anyway. We didn't detour too far. Hey, girl. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Yeah, I'm not fully totally feeling safe out here at night. Why'd you call me out here? Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well. But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after so you... So worried you would call right me at, at night. We did not speak about it at the time, 
but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Hmm. I think... I think she's a good friend. We can tell her. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit oh, odd. Oh no, she's honest. gonna... Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful okay, I didn't form want to share of that much. magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning. But I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For uh -huh. now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. Both of us? To all of us. Which is oh. why I wanted to speak to you. Yeah. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Mm -hmm. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. All what right. sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I think we made a good call, the truster. I like that. She has some bite to her. I'm glad to hear it. This could be dangerous. She knows. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Mm-hmm. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Oh. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. I learned a new uh, that may be true, flame spell. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. She's scared. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. I like Thank this you, plan. Natty. All right, Natty. Be on your guard. I like her. Hope nothing happens to her. I beg your pardon! How you threaten me! Is that coming What's from going over there? on here? Yeah, we need as many allies as possible, and I feel a little bit at ease that someone else knows the truth. I beseech you for some assistance. Hello? Can I help you? Are you about to draw oh, yourself? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. Hey, My name Slytherin. is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the bar, GPS. Pinch Smedley. Nice. I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You okay. see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Can we dive? An underwater adventure sounds like fun. Diving into the lake doesn't sound too appealing. Yeah, there might be dangers below. I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps Why if you, you understood do it? my Can't plight, you you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve, and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They could, they they could still be out there. They were drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. So that's night. why you're not jumping if in the lake? If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Okay, sounds like a noble reason. Should I know who your family are? What? Yeah, let's do this. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. 
Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. Oh, that's It's nice. mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Sounds kind of mean. Should I know who your family are? No. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. That's important, though. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the, cross Do I need the like a spell so I can breathe underwater? Location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. Over where? It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I, I do mean... hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Yeah, I mean, knowing how it feels to lose a loved one, and you have something that you know they cherished, it's always nice to have those. I mean, it's a, it's like having them around, close to Grace, you. Grace, what is it you needed my help with? I was hoping you could dive down and retrieve a treasured family yeah, astronaut yes lost during a doomed stargazing cruise. Oh, I, I just dive in then. Okay. No, I can't be. What is this over here? They must have come this way. Think. Uh, they're bad, huh? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Oh, Victor's the people. Devil, Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid right. Your life ends here. <laughs> You will not survive Yeah, let's get him, Trek Will. That was kind of fun. What is that? Oh, what's the light go out of your Ew. eyes? Is that a rabbit mask? The collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as your. Potato! We can hurt them! I'm not going anywhere. You'll take this student off of my dead body! What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. I've been so close to Hogwarts. Seriously, man. What'd you get yourself into? I was to talk to her. <sighs> Are you all right? I am. Why am I out of breath? No small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Yeah, who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at all. Ah, okay. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a okay. traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. All right, that's cool. You're a researcher. 
Nora need to Treadwell her. at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought Merlin was a myth. I mean, no, everyone's been mentioning Merlin's name, so he must be real. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Hmm. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. He was <laughs> he Slytherin? Was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Merlin? I would have thought Merlin, the way they describe him as, you know, friendly and caring, that he would have been like Gryffindor. Not that Slytherin isn't caring, but I mean... <laughs> they don't really have a a positive reputation. Seems tedious. No, it's fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. Please share. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mm, Mallow Sweet, versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Oh, the tr <laughs> the chest I was trying to this rob you. Trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I don't know if I have some. I have the mallow sweet. Now I do. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My oh. word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these piles. Oh, what's this? These pillars are piles. Incendio. The flames make the piles. Oh, sorry. Sink. I should have warned you before I did that, huh? <laughs> what do we do with this? Oh. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Oh, don't tell me we have to do it like a timed event? Is there only three? Incendio! There we go. Figured it out. How beautiful. Hey, it's Merlin. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Well, see? Two heads are better than one. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. Mm. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suite, okay. which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you're welcome. And do be careful out here. 
Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. So yeah, really, what what's the point of? Well, we learned something new today, guys. I mean, Merlin was Slytherin. <laughs> okay, where? Oh, is that all this is? It's at northeast, right? So how do I know where it is? This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Is it? Oh, I don't have to dive. I just... Oh, I do dive, but I don't have to manually do it. Okay. A school robe. She dives funny. Just kind of sinks to the ground. Oh, I found it! Gruesome. Alright, I think that's all of it. must be confident. I haven't even studied once. I'm just a, a genius. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. Here you are. I did, and it's yours for a price. I did, and I'm keeping it. Oh, these two- you gotta be a scumbag to pick one of these two. I mean, this is for her d dead grandparents. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. And she's Slytherin. Thank you so we much each for other. doing this for me. And for my family. You're welcome. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. My condolences, man. A diver of man. your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. I did. Thank Aren't you, you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Yeah, next time you need help, though, it's gonna cost you. Look at that, level 10. Is there anything else around here that I would like to, uh... There's something over there. Alright, let's go check this guy out. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Oh, what do you know about Ramrock? Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked yeah, you. Yeah, I met him. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as well, much, he turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Oh man, has this happened before? Has Renrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn. But to take it out on their late. own? Ramrock is getting hypocrites. more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. Yeah, it's like the smart way. The thing is, with when you do things the violent way, most of the time it leads to just short-term resolutions, but if you do it diplomatically and on the right note, between both parties or all parties, it usually has a longer, long term, you know, resolution or status. Impact, I should say, is the word I'm looking for. Are you a painter? You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my Oh, calling. then paint new ones. Most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. 
without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. At least I didn't break your hands. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Right. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. All right, what is this? Search? After what Van Rock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. Should I just go ahead and do the... Should I help this goblin? Since I'm out here? Might as well, right? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Yeah, maybe I'll go help him out since I'm close by. There's no stamina, right? No, I'm actually pretty good. It's up here, right? What's this? Feast welcome. Revelio. The Herbridian Black is a large dragon that can grow to over nine meters in length. A large rough scale originally a large rough scale originally belonging to one of these beasts is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his eye. Is that a goblin? Is a teddy bear? Beast, welcome. Okay. Okay, someone dropped their purse. I'm on the right track. What was that? Oh. Oh, I'm starting to see some wildlife now. Though I hate spiders. I think I saw some more here. What are those red triangles? Well, I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. Follow a run rock. What was that? Oh. You can loot them, nice. See some shrooms. Who's this? An encampment. This must be it. This isn't a fair fight! Potato! Someone's been taken out against me! Oh, I won't rest until you find your as if there's more than one way to enter. 
A lot of little fellers. Where's the other one? Okay, there he is. Is that it? No, there's another one. What was that? An intruder! That was quite something. All right. Now to Freon's carts. Let's see. They probably have. They should have treasure Rebellion. around here somewhere. Look at these little cute little bed. Oh, little bunk beds like children. <laughs> these as carts. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to Arn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I have the, um, the spell for that yet. Can I take a ride? Nope. No. Fine. I think we've done too many side missions in this episode. I'm definitely going to get back on track after this. Burn, bitch. Apex is simply too many. 
I hate, hate, hate spiders. Mm -mm. I used to know someone who had a tarantula as a pet. And yeah, it was, you know, tame. It would come to you and everything, but oh, Just the fact that it was a spider, man. Had that instinct to just crush it. If you're here for my wares, I'm a- On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. It was actually fun. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Yeah. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. That's a great idea. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Are goblins cannibals? Or carnivores? All the best to just looking at their teeth makes me kind of wonder. It's like, oh, that's some jacket teeth. Right, should I fast travel? Alright, back at the school. Let's get back on track. We have to go to a herbologist now. Wait, did I not go in the right? Oh, there's stairs. Duh, I'm blind. Hmm. You! It took us three days to find your brother, and your mother almost squashed him first. You know how much <laughs> she hates dung beetles! Ah, but I bet that's why you did it, eh? Well, let's see how much you like being turned into an insect next time you test my temper. Can you imagine if you act if you got letters like that? Be publicly hum humiliated. What? Level one lock. So I get to learn like a lock pick at some point, or Pavelio. Anything here before? Yes, there is. Get up here real quick. Ah, I know where to get mallow sweets now. For free. Alright, I'm ready for class. What kind of plant is that? Like a Good ferocious morning, Venus flytrap. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora. Her name dear. is Garlic? Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> we do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh no. Accio. The, the crybabies, right? Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. There we go. Oh, it's a big one. Everyone is all small. Quickly! Place your mandrake in the new core and cut down the soil! Oh my god! 
god. My freaking ugly ass turnip. Should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Jeez. Repair. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. A All bit? Right then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. <laughs> now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. And okay, what's that supposed to mean? Mm. I wonder if it... Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Yeah, just hold it up and have it scream at your enemy. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Especially because mine was freaking grown. I enjoyed it. I nearly went deaf. I'll say, I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have I some, I have Professor. That. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, it. and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Nifla's fancy, or roses. So follow her? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay. Nine minutes. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Oh yeah, now, I kind of met him. What say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yeah, I guess because they're called chomping cabbages. I mean... Um... Pruitt, is that that snob that thinks he's better Hello. than everyone? Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But you just you'll leave. A bug? Do you not recognize me, Pruitt? We had class together in Charms. Well, I guess he doesn't remember me. Alright, let's just go. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian! And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you so outright you. slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. What do they look Go like? On. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. Oh. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Now, see that dummy? Yeah. Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. They look like something that would be like in a Super Mario game. Am I supposed to take them all? L1... Oh. Wait, L1? Look at that. Oh my god. They can get their uh, mouths on. 
Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils Should in tatters. Should I be having these things in my pocket? Watch out, Pruitt! Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Hmm, I suppose it could come in handy. Sure, but that's just a dummy. I was imagining it already. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed <laughs> and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Is he all nervous Take now? Your time. I'll see you back in class. Oh, it just exploded. Pruitt, are you afraid of me? Wait, where did we go? I'll just follow him. Ah, oh, there's Ditney. I stole someone's plant. Oh god, it was deeper than I thought it was. Get out of there. It's down here. What is this? Ah. I don't know what to do with you. Revelia. I don't know what to do with this. Incendio. Yeah, I have no idea. Hmm. Or I wonder if... Are you supposed to sneak up on it? Look how big the eye is. You know what? I want to try something. Uh. Ah! That's how you do it. I was like thinking, I'm like, wait, the eye is looking right at me. So I'm like, what if I'm invisible? All right, let's go. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. Nice. I shall end our lesson Empty here. pot? Terrible, sorry, Mr. Clopton. Do I have to do another one? Where is she? Oh. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do you seem said to they be bite, quite not amputate. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As am I. Plants offer so much. Don't care much for plants. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. <sighs> well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Why did they have to give her a name like Garlic? It couldn't be like... Ivy or something. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Who's to make anything grow? We must first understand it. Wow. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the plant. We get to say. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. He's in London now. 
Alright, so where do I go next? Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Ooh, no one likes the headmaster. I, I don't like him either. He needs to lighten up. Oh, is this Professor Sharp? Pavelio. Anything I can loot? One coin? That wasn't worth it. Alright, let's just go to class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, it Professor heals. Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. What kind of accident did you have? Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Not very hard. Oh, I did two drops. Most of you have not forgotten how to stir. I'm the first mm. one done. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, yep. sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. That. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Professor Sharp must have oh, learned a lot Amit. during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganweld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. I heard about you um, too. Thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I was relieved. Professor Sharp seemed to disagree. Professor Sharp didn't seem as impressed as you are. Don't take it personally. Professor Sharp wouldn't be impressed by a troll reciting the tales of Beetle <laughs> the Bard backwards. All right. And in Gobbledygook. Dolly noted. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. 
Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. What was that sound? Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Oh, Weasley. You heard correctly. Why do you want to know? Yes, yeah, but why does freak? that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper Feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, I'm not gonna get in trouble for you. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. So why would it be locked in an office then? You think I'm an idiot? Weasley? I've enough no, to worry about denied. collecting I the just met you. he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Yeah. Trying to get me in trouble. I should tattle on you right now. Keep your Mongrel for wait, was I supposed to take that? Memorandum. Morgan and Burks, you had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given that we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more hours to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Okay. What is this? Am I supposed to be collecting all this? Uh... Oh, nice, but I'm not giving it to that guy. A well prepared Witcher Wizard always has a few potions on hand. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Oh, I did need the mongrel fur. That's nasty. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Huh? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! You made fireworks. Congratulations. Dragon Duck! What happened? <laughs> what were you trying to make again? Well done, what now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. Like a troll maker. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. Hell yeah. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Mm -hmm. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwoppa feather. This time. That'll be all. <laughs> you shouldn't leave the light around, bro. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. Yeah, no, I'm not going to talk to him. Hmm. Ugh, 
My robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. <laughs> Gareth is not really liked. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Glad we were able to sneak in. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Where Professor Scrope? Fink. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. Okay, I'm in agreement with that. I don't mind keeping secrets from Black. But anyways, I was going to say, before I was interrupted, I'm going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And we'll continue the main story and some more side missions next time. Until next time. <laughs>